with the rising popularity of VTubers worldwide, many companies started to cash in on the trend. Netflix has their own anime ambassador, and Sony is planning to release their own VTubers in the future. It would not be surprising if companies use this trend to sell more products. After all, these companies are not powerful governments. However, what if a government decided to use the VTuber trend to achieve a political goal? Well, this is what happened. A girl named Jiang Zhenzhou, meaning lovely land, and a boy named Hong Kimen, meaning free spirited red flag. They were a pair of VTubers that was created by the Communist Youth League of China, which in of itself is led by the Communist Party of China. Both of their names came from Mao Zedong's poems. They were designed to be the organization's virtual ambassadors. A video clip from the fourth day of the Made in China broadcast showed this video in their starting segment. 各位小伙伴们，大家好，我是洪奇曼，我是香山娇，欢迎大家收看共青团中央宣传部国资委新闻中心共同主办的第四届中国制造日网络直播。沧海横流，浩荡前行，不知不觉，咱们的中国制造日已经第四届了。是啊，欢迎各位正在收看直播的小伙伴登录微博、易直播、微信、腾讯直播、哔哩哔哩、QQ 空间、今日头条、抖音、快手、微视、唱吧、知乎、网易音,音乐、快看漫画，关注团团的账号共青团中央，获取第四届的中国制造日的最新动态哦。本次直播还将在咪咕视频。央视网、小央视频、斗鱼直播、虎牙直播、火山小视频、映客直播、火星直播以及央视频、爱奇艺等平台并机同步直播。除了好看的直播呢，也欢迎各位小伙伴在微博上搜索并关注爱的共青团中央，我们将在今天为大家送上非常多的中国制造奖品哦。那么都有什么奖品呢？让我来告诉大家吧。今年的奖品有爱酷 Pro 五级版手机、洛奇智能语音机器人。创维家电大礼包、阿尔法蛋机器人、直二十直升机模型、重回汉唐和川纳东方美学提供的精美华服、可爱的团宝玩偶，以及超级大奖东风风神逸炫汽车（括号不是模型，是真车哦）。除了微博抽奖，在观看直播的同时，也会有精美的礼品送给大家哦。那么闲言少叙，今天直播即将开始。And on the seventh of February in twenty twenty, both were announced on the league's official Weibo account. This announcement, however, wasn't all sunshine and rainbow. In the comment section. People were voicing mixed opinions and criticism. Some people were saying that this was an insensitive act of promoting and focusing on a virtual ambassador when people are dying and medical workers are working hard to combat the virus, even with the limited resources. One of the most voted comment said this. I'm a citizen, not a fan. And another said, "Do we need strong material support or virtual juvenile attempts to cheer people up?" With others saying the similar sentiment, even some members of the league were disappointed. Despite this, the one that received the most comments was Jiang Zhenzhou. People asked her. Different questions in relation to the female experiences in China. Zhang Zhenqiao, are you still a virgin? Zhang Zhenqiao, are you on your period? Zhang Zhenqiao, are you saving to help pay for your brother's wedding home? Zhang Zhenqiao, are you dressed up like this to seduce others? 
John Shen Zhao, do you get paid the same as your brother for doing the same work? Zhang Shen Zhao, did your family have a second baby because you are a girl? John Shen Zhao, if a teacher harasses you, will you be forced to quit school? Zhang Shen Zhao, if your husband hits you, do the police respond? Zhang Shen Zhao, will you shave your head for your country? Zhang Shen Zhao, do you want to sneak a sanitary napkin? Zhang Shen Zhao, you and the red flag walk so close. Did someone call you a bitch? When you need her, Zhang Shen Zhao is an innocent goddess, a lolly, a virtual character with no sex characteristics. When you don't need her, Zhang Shen Zhao has inconvenient menstrual cycles and pregnancies. She's laid off and harassed, or she's a common whore. So which Zhang Shen Chao do you want to be your idol? Due to the piling pressure and increasing criticism, within the first five hours of their announcement, almost all of their accounts, posts, and comments related to them were deleted. Her last words before the deletion of her Weibo account was Sorry, I still need to rest. Afterwards, nothing more was posted. Jiang Zhenjia's Bilibili account is still up, but there is nothing in it. And this is where the story ends. The account stayed silent, and there is no more mention of them from the Communist Youth League of China. Now, will there be another VTuber like this in the future? Is it okay for politicians and politics in general to have a place in VTubing and tackle some serious problems? Or is it best? To leave political agendas aside and just have some fun? Well, you, the people that consume the medium, decides that. If it did happen in the future, what will you do 